Billy, sometimes you make way too long of a video and you have to chop it into two. And that's what you have here tonight, folks. That's what we've earned here tonight. So we've brought Bushy out uh, for a second video that has already been recorded. I don't remember exactly how that one started. So starting right about now is where you will get our NHL award predictions. I am going to go through some trophies. I'm going to call a name. You got to take your shot. If it, it could be an individual award, it could be a team award. We'll take our shot. We'll have it on record and we'll hold each of us against each other or we'll hold it against you next year when we do this again. And then, you know, if, if you look bad, you look bad. And if you look good, you look like a genius. Oh, we're going to look so, bad. For sure. oh, well, you know, we might snipe one of these. Let's find out. Okay. Uh, Bushy, I'll have you go first on this one. Art Ross Trophy. Top point score. Jonathan Erickson. Uh, <laughs> wait, uh, I, you have to say McDavid, right? That guy just had 153 points, you know, unless he gets hurt, he, he's the one that's, that's winning that. I, I would, I would put money on that too. It's gotta be McDavid. No explanation, McDavid. All right. Uh, how about the Calder Memorial Trophy rookie of the year, Billy? Oh man, you want to say it's going to be Bedard, but I feel like the talent might be so bad there that I'm going to take the off the, off the board pick. I'm going to go with Fantilli. I think. He's going to find a spot into Columbus. I think they're going to perform pretty well offensively. Defensively, it's not going to go well. And I think he'll find a spot there. And Bedard's going to have to carry the weight of an entire organization. I know I've had a few kind of like dark horse kind of things, but I, I got to go with Bedard. I mean, the kid's a, he's supposed to be a generational talent, right? And, you know, Fantilli, yeah. I mean, he's going to probably be top. He's top six, maybe in the top line in Columbus, right? Uh, but I think he, I think you can't bet against the guy like Bedard. You watch him, you know, Team Canada. I watched him a ton. I, he's ready, man. Like I don't know if he's gonna score thirty or forty, but I think he's definitely gonna run away with the with that Calder Selkie Trophy, top defensive forward. Oh my God, Bergeron's gone. Right? Uh, lock holy, because that's the slam dunk pick is Patrice Bergeron. Got to right? toss. You got to toss fire. the name as wrong as wrong as it could be. Got to toss the Anthony name. Anthony Sorelli. Anthony Sorelli, Tampa Bay Lightning. I think that he is is one of those guys that plays like a Bergeron Jr. Let's say Anthony Sorelli, Tampa Bay Lightning. He's been nominated before, so I'll, I'll go with him. I am going to take O'Reilly on the Predators. I think the Predators are going to have a solid year. I think he's going to be a big part of it. They already play an incredibly sound defensive game. I think he's going to fit in nicely for that. I actually was thinking O'Reilly, and then you said him. I was like, all right. <laughs> Billy the Hart Memorial Trophy, MVP uh, of the regular season. I mean, how can you not just lock in McDavid again? But I can't just pick McDavid for, like, the easiness of it. Jack Hughes. I like that pick a lot. I, think, I really do. I think he's going to do very, very well for the Devils this year. Like I said earlier, they're a wagon. I think he's still, you know, getting better each and every single year. He could potentially break that 100, 110-point mark. And depending on, you know, if McDavid is just absolutely running away with a division at 140 points and they're fighting in the east for the top with the canes maybe that weighs into how much jack hughes is uh valued for that trophy i like that answer that's a really good one um i'm gonna go into the west here and i'm gonna say if, if you can't say mcdavid we'll yes, say yes um because that's who i would say but i'll go with nathan mckinnon and the reason i want to say mckinnon is because Colorado has, I think, a little bit of issues. I mean, signing Tatar today helped a little bit, but I think they're a little thin. You know, Landis Cog being out, someone's going to have to step up. And if, if Colorado is going to, you know, be back in the playoffs and, and look for another Stanley Cup, I think Nathan McKinnon is going to have to be out of his mind, and he usually is. And I think he just gets lost in the conversation of McDavid, Dreisaitl, Matthews, yes. you know, and then that, then it's, you know, the next guys, right? And that is one of them. But I think he's, <laughs> I think he's, an elite player and i think he absolutely could win an mvp based on you know the team that he's carrying there who's one of the norris bushy nick lidstrom is he still qualified <laughs> in the front office <laughs> they, here's here's my issue with with the norris and it's really hard for me to like say who's gonna win it who's gonna get the most points yeah. okay so i'll say adam fox because he's won it before and they, i think what they need to do with the norris trophy is let's let's rename them okay let's get two awards for defensemen Let's go the Bobby Orr trophy for the, the best offensive defenseman. And, and then we'll go with the Nick Lidstrom for the defensive defenseman. Screw it. It's my for, it's my format. Screw it. Who yeah. wins the Bobby Orr trophy and who wins the Nicholas Lidstrom trophy then? Okay, Bobby Orr, I'll say yeah, I'll say Adam Fox. I think he's gonna have a ton of points there with the Rangers. 
Uh, and Nick, let's uh, one. Uh, Adam Fox as well, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Here, you go. Yeah. No, you're, you're good. You're good. You go I with your thinking. Bobby Orr, and then I'll tell you the Nick Lidstrom one. All right. The Bobby Orr. I'm going to give it to Kale McCarr. That guy is electric. I love watching him skate. That's the most exciting thing about him, man. It's it's that patience up at the blue line, the quick feet, shuffling around everywhere. I think the Avs are going to have a solid year. I think he's going to be a big part of it. Nick Lidstrom Award that we just made up. Yeah, I am going to go with uh, the Hurricanes. I'll go Jacob Slavin. I think that guy defensively is like the most elite put together defenseman. I know he he does chip in some offense, but that's not really like his thing and uh doesn't take any penalties like that it's unbelievable for a defenseman that that's that good at being defensive that he doesn't <laughs> take penalty. He had like what four penalty minutes last year yeah wasn't something crazy low like that but i i really like jacob slavin i think he's super underrated and that's a big reason why the hurricanes are always at the top i nick lidstrom i want to give it to someone but i know the vesna's coming up i can't pick three from the same team can't do that it'd be stupid I got to thank you. Same cider. Same cider. <laughs> it would be the wonderful. The fans will love it. <laughs> <laughs> it would I be can, wonderful. I can subscribe. <laughs> um, <laughs> Do you like our video? <laughs> best defensive defenseman. I think it's not the number one in my head, but I'm going to go with Victor Hedman. If I'm already believing so much in the lightning coming back, I think Victor Hedman is just such a solid, true defensive defenseman that just is able to perform offensively because of the talent around him. Yeah, I'm going to go with Hedman. Yeah, i say Hedman would kind of be almost, he's, he's pretty good with both, too. Yeah. Like, he does some offense, but defensively, that gets overlooked because of who he is. Yeah, my shout-out for who I'm going to miss out on picking would be Roman Yossi. Love Roman Yossi. Sure. God, that dude blocks yeah. shots like crazy. Who's getting the uh, Jack Adams Coach of the Year trophy? Ooh. And why is it torts? <laughs> <laughs> I got to think of coaches names. I'm not going to lie here. Who do I have sneaking their way into the playoffs this year? Who is the head coach of the Sabres? What's that guy's name again? Oh, I was just Googling that. Yeah. <laughs> is it Granado? All right, perfect. That's yeah. perfect. Head you guys can share Sabres, that. With whatever his name is. Don Granado. Don Granado. Yeah, that guy. That's, that's I, my I was literally just looking it up. I'm saying perfect. Don Granado as well because I have, Boston, I have Buffalo making the playoffs and they weren't in. That's usually what happens. It'll be a team that mm -hmm. wasn't in the playoffs that'll make the playoffs. And that that's the coach of the year. It doesn't matter if your team had a hundred billion points, yep. you know, Oh, you weren't in the playoffs. You're in. So yeah, we'll go with the, with Don Granato. If you've seen a few of our videos, you know that we like to go down and talk in the comments section. Uh, so feel free to jump on down there and give us your prediction of any awards, any of the ones that you, they could be obvious ones. They could be specific ones. It could be the EJ McGuire award of excellence trophy, whatever trophy you want to make a prediction for toss it down in the comments and we'll give our thoughts on it for the extra challenge. Don't answer McDavid, the Jim Gregory G general manager of the year award Bushy. Oh boy. A gym of the year award. I'm trying to think who they usually would give that to. Um, because it's not necessarily who wins the cup, which is weird. Uh, the GM award is kind of interesting because like you could do nothing yeah. and your team could be really, really good, right? You know what? Screw it. I have the wings making the playoffs. Steve Eiserman making all these moves, all these trades. All if in. they make the playoffs, let's say if, if they make the playoffs, he should be considered a hundred percent for that turnaround. So I'll go with, I'll go with Stevie. I know that's cheap, but going with him for sure yeah this one it feels like i'm just blindfolded throwing a dart i'm gonna go with ron france oh i was cracking i think okay. the kraken can you know perform well again this year i i don't even remember who won it last year who, who won it last year josh was it the knights uh yes it was the great well no jim nil of the jim dallas stars. oh the stars oh, i do go. remember that yes yeah, so i'm gonna go with ron francis Alex Redwin. yeah i think i think two years in a row of it will probably play a little bit into it because i think that's probably why the stars have. They've been good for a while now. So, all right, Bushy, the Lester Patrick Trophy. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't even know what that. Is. I know. Yeah, I, I know. I knew you. <laughs> I picked. <laughs> oh, Lee. I, I look. It's literally. It's the outstanding service to hockey in the United States. <laughs> I'm just kidding on that. One. I just want no, to. No. We're I just wanted to see your face no. immediately go. What? The Lester <laughs> okay. Patrick Award. Is gonna <laughs> uh okay uh, I have no idea Mick David uh, <laughs> yeah, Mick, Mick David yeah, wait it wall. says hockey in the United uh, yeah. States Mick David? he's grown the sport man uh, all right 
Bushy Lady Bing. Lady Bing. I mean, you could say that Bergeron too. Uh, I, I just said uh, Jacob Slavin. I, he should win it. I mean, it, it, you know what? I think there was a stat like the last. I don't think it does. A defenseman won the Lady Bing Award in the last like million years. It always is a forward. It's always a forward. But I, I'll say Jacob Slavin. Like, how do you? How are you that good? Again, how are you that good and don't get penalties? I'm gonna stay on the same team. I'm gonna say Sebastian Aho plays a little bit of a more passive game, but still has high skill. As yes, used eyes. to win that every year, didn't he? Yes. That was nice. Yeah, Datsuk won it like three or four years in a row, and then yep. <laughs> immediately the the first season opener. You remember who he, he beat the tar out of Corey, Corey Perry? Perry yeah. I do remember that. That was yeah, funny. Didn't win the Lady Bing. <laughs> well, there goes the Lady Bing. <laughs> I guarantee you, the boys were joshing about it. Like, oh my oh, god, absolutely. Lady Bing. He's like, I'm going to fight Corey Perry. <laughs> <laughs> Rocket Richard Trophy, Billy. Who's, who's scoring the most goals? Let's say, uh, let's let's say McDavid takes the year off. David takes the year off. Decides he's going to go overseas to explore Greece or something like that. I, Maybe some good's going on over there. I'm not going to take the easy McDavid. Or McDavid. I'm not going to take the easy Matthews. I'm going to go with McKinnon then. I'm going to say, I mean, if McDavid's not scoring the goals, dreisaitl has got to do it, right? I mean, he's That's always fair. up there, so <laughs> yeah. I could see him probably taking it too. But yeah, if it's not McDavid, I'll say Dreisaitl. I mean, you could say Matthews. I mean, that's another one where you can be like, yeah, that's a, kind of a tap in as well. He always gets at least 50. Hold on. We're forgetting so. Ovi though. Ovi's on that race. Ovi's got some healthy teammates coming back. One more for the, for the road. It's not gonna do Who, Anthony Mantha? <laughs> Anthony Mantha's gonna gonna turn into a playmaker. The Vesna. Bush, who you got winning the Vesna? Oh, let's see. They got some a lot of them in the east. I'm gonna go. It's gotta be Igor Shesterkin. I, I mean, I talked him up so much. I think he's a big reason why the Rangers are as good as they are. I don't think if he went down with an injury, they'd be in they'd be in some trouble, I think. Now, I mean Jonathan Quick, they'll they'll be all right, I think, but Shesterkin, just watching him play, he does things that remind like, he's like a young Vasilevsky, does stuff that I go like, who the hell does that? Like, yeah. how, how do you come up with that? So I'll go uh, with Shesterkin. I am going to take, and man, I feel like I'm getting like too high on this team in my mind, but I, I'm trying to like play it together on like how important they are going to be to the success of their team. I think Shesterkin will be a big part, but someone who I think has a bigger part so let me use these sorrows. I, I really think they're going to do well in the central and how it's kind of like the, the same thing with the Bruins that I have in that. I don't know who's going to score their goals necessarily, but I think just defensively, the team is so strong. UC Saros has continued to prove me wrong on me thinking he's just too small. He continues to perform. I think he can take the Vesna. Big prediction time. Who's winning the president's trophy? Billy which obviously, as we all know, has direct correlation of winning the Stanley Cup almost every year. I mean, we're Red Wings fans. It means that they're going to lose in the first round of the eighth seed, right? That's exactly. how it usually went. <laughs> so I've already locked myself in on the East, right, by going through these and putting the Hurricanes number one. So I'm going to stick with them. I think that the East is stronger than the West. I will then stay on top of that and say that the Hurricanes are going to play uh, a damning style of hockey that a lot of people aren't going to like to watch, but... It's going to remain effective. They're going to be able to score some more goals with Fetch coming back, and uh, they'll end up number one. I'm going to go with the New Jersey Devils. I had them number one in the East, and I do agree that I think the East is tougher than the West. I mean, you can make a, an argument that if the Red Wings were in the Western Conference right now, you, you could almost lock them into a wild card spot. If they're in it's the just, Central, it's just yeah. not as good. Yeah, 100%, right? So, yeah, but I'll, I'll go with the Devils. I think they're going to be a wagon this year i think they're gonna be really really good and fun to watch too so yeah we'll go with the devil bushy who is going to win the clarence s campbell award western conference champions who from the west so who's going to will be fighting for it i don't think it matters i think whoever comes out of the east is gonna win the cup but that's why we play the games i will say oh boy i can say it's not gonna be edmonton that's yeah. all I know. They never will. I think the uh, the Dallas Stars, I think that they are kind of a sneaky team. Like, I don't think they're going to be flying under the radar, so to speak, but I, I do like the way they're built. I think they have some young guys that are severely underrated around the league, like Rupa Hintz, Jason Robertson. People probably don't know who these guys are, right? Those guys are, are fantastic. Like, they are elite players and uh, I like their their defensive core with you know, Mira Heiskanen, you know, Jake Ottinger in net. I think Dallas uh, could be a scary team in the West. You'll never hear me say anything good about Jamie Benn or any team that he's on. It just won't happen. So out of pure spite <laughs> on that single man who has cross-checked multiple necks in the NHL and people just look at Brad Marchand, he's the dirtiest. Well, 
I'm letting you know over the last four or five years, it's been Jamie Benn, and there's no question about it in my mind. I am going to take the sneaky pick, and I'm going to go with the Kings. I, I, wow. Really, yeah. I, okay. if, you, if you made me go, like, I, I think the Avs are going to have a strong year, but something tells you, like, they just they just sputter out. I think they had their their championship, and it's, it's feeling like some big contracts are going to start to limit them a little bit. I already told you what I think about the Stars. I don't think the Predators have the offense. I don't think the Oilers have the defense. I think the Knights are fine and strong. You could argue for them. Leaves the Kings for me out of my my top six out of the West. So, yeah, give me the Kings. They they put it I up like with that. the Oilers. So That's a spicy pick. I like that. Yeah, they put up with the Oilers, man. They kept up yeah. with them. I think they would take the Oilers out. I, I don't think they're built for it either. I think Edmonton is kind of the Western version of the Maple Leafs. Like yeah, you've got your 100%. big dogs and that's it. Their defense, not that good. Goaltending, not that good. You know, so well, you I, I think Kenny again, to build that stuff, right? Yeah, I know 100%. Like he, uh, he understands a thousand percent how to surround his stars with uh players and like supporting cast without <laughs> bloating the contracts and being right up against the cap losing all your draft picks and all your prospects so <laughs> they are in great hands with ken for sure yeah billy who's got the prince of wales who's beating him in the east i know i've been super high on the canes but just something tells you you can't just like latch onto one wagon the entire way i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna swap oh, who, they, who are tough. the canes getting swept by in the West eastern conference finals this is tough i've really got it down to the lightning or devils and i might Give it, ah, oh, they're just, it feels Devils. like it's too cheap to go on the lightning. So I'm going Devils. I think the Devils are just yeah. going to enter in hot. I think they're going to be a young, fast team. And yeah, I think it's going to be really tough to bring them down. I think as soon as you get those boys back in the playoffs, they got the young legs, they got the speed. Bushy? I'm, uh, I, I, I know it seems cheap. I am going Tampa. I, I think the way that they went out last year, you know, to Toronto, you know, the way they did, they, people forget that they were in the final three years in a row. They played a lot of hockey. We've seen that with the Red Wings. You know, it goes deep playoff runs. You're playing so much more hockey. And when you look at your stars like Datsuk and Zetterberg and Lidstrom, like they played seasons plural of extra playoff games than maybe someone that's not making the playoffs every year. So I think this might be one of the last few kicks at the can for Tampa Bay. So I wouldn't feel bad seeing them go to the final. That's who I was fighting in my mind with. So, okay. So to close out, Bushy. We're going to group these ones. Who is winning the greatest trophy in sports, the Stanley Cup, and who is winning the Conn Smythe from those finals? Well, wait, I had Tampa and, and Dallas, right? So, oh, boy, do I want to disappoint Billy and say that Jamie Benn's raising the cup <laughs> over his head? Or do we want to piss everyone else off and say Tampa Bay wins their, like, fourth cup in six years? You choose carefully uh, here. <laughs> yeah. Can we still credit Eisman with these cups, or is the, have the Lightning been going independently without him long enough that we <laughs> can't look at it and go, well, Eisman's credit? The core is 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 him, right? But, oh, I, you know what? I'll go Tampa. I think uh, I think they still have that team. I, I know they don't have like that much of the depth anymore. They're going to need a few guys to step up, but like their big boys always show up. You know what I mean? And I think it's just a little bit of an anomaly that Toronto took them out last year. And I, I think if they uh, got in the playoffs again, they're just a scary team to play. Like they've all been there multiple times. I don't think they get rattled with anything. They're going to go, hey, this is the first time we've lost a playoff series in like a while well not really in the final but they've been through adversity more than dallas so if that's my two teams in the final i'll go with the lightning this is tough who is your final who did you have i have a cup winner that isn't one of the two people you had winning the other two awards (laughs) yeah right (laughs) um i've got the devils and the kings in the finals little rematch of what was that 2014 i think 2012 again one of those two yeah 2012 i think yeah Ooh, that yeah, I like that storyline. I like the the comeback. Yeah, look the, at you. The rematch. Um, Billy knew what he was doing. Totally. <laughs> Wait, didn't didn't yeah. Tampa yeah, and didn't Dallas play in the final one year? Pretty sure they did. Did they not? Was that the mm. the COVID? No. Yeah, Tampa played Montreal the one year, and then they played Dallas the next year because Corey Perry lost the cup three years in a row. Right. Yeah. They they, oh, they beat Dallas. Go. We both did it. They beat Dallas, then they beat Montreal, then they lost to Colorado. Are they going to beat Dallas again? So there you go. Is LA going to beat the Devils again? Or That's so tough. It's so early. That's what makes it so damn difficult. But that's what also probably makes it fun. I'm going to go with the Devils because I already talked about how much better I think the East is. That if I have like a number three seed out of the East going against number six out of the West, it would be silly to argue it the other way. And the Conn Smythe. 
Give me Hughes. Just lock in Hughes. Devils over the Kings. Lock in Hughes. Consmith. It's it's hard to to already go down that trail and say you should get even spicier than that. So I didn't say my Consmith. I say Tampa Bay and Dallas. Am I going to do a G Gear? No, I'm not going to do that. We'll say you know what? You know who's going to carry them to the Cup this year? It's going to be Braden Point because that's what he does. I'm going to say Point mm-hmm. gets the Consmith because I'm pretty sure he hasn't won it yet. Right. Right. I think it was like yeah. I don't even know who the other two were, but. Uh, Braden Point is is one of my favorite players in the league. Yep. Just a water bug. He's always so good. Scored 50 last year as well, so he can do it in the playoffs. He's done it before. In the conversation for the, the Rocket this year, is that someone we missed in conversation? It might be. Yeah, because, I mean, he had a ton of goals. I mean, 50 goals, you know, years ago, you're winning it for sure. Now you're like seventh. All right, Bushy, I know we just said this a second ago for – the other video that we recorded with this, but again, it was a pleasure to have you happy to have you for even longer than we expected. Any final words, any, you, you have any, uh, any secret big videos coming out? Anything you want to, you, you want to plug for your channel? Well, no, but I, I continue to do the work you guys are doing because it's been, it was a lot of fun today and it's a lot of fun watching your guys' videos. Obviously a lot of our stuff does <laughs> align, which I really, I really like. Um, <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm hoping that some of these times we'll, we'll disagree and that's where we'll have the debate. But uh, definitely, I'm going to have to have you, uh, you know, in the studio with me at one point. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we'll figure something out. But yeah, we'll, uh, we're will we a bunch of smart guys, right? We'll figure something out down along the line. So got a long season of Red Wings hockey to, to watch and break down. So I'm sure we'll we'll hook up at one point. Absolutely. Yeah, you, you know, we'll, we'll come on. We'll come on to your channel. Uh, we'll definitely make some videos there. And who, you know what? Maybe if we're feeling spicy, maybe if this relationship's real good, we'll 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 make a uh, go into a Wings game vlog together, and uh, we'll 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 meet up at LC. Yeah, you see, there's yeah, potential we will. here. Yeah. There's potential Let's here. <laughs> if we know anyone who, may, who games, might have, so. I was gonna say maybe if we know anyone with like a ten game plan that can just pick us up on the way to the game, anything <laughs> like that. Who knows? <laughs> I don't. know. I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> Can't be me, man. All right. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bushy, thanks so much for coming on, man. No, thanks for having me, guys. Thanks, Bushy.